Uh, so hi everyone. Today we will be discussing about what is a, a Siamese network, uh, which is uh, which implements one shot learning and how it is implementing one shot learning. So let's uh, get started. We will first of all understand the structure of Siamese network and then the loss functions being used. So let's get started. Siamese networks basically are not any classification model, but are more of a comparator model. That means it checks that whether the two image uh, like uh, we would be inputting two images or two samples together. And the Siamese networks help us in checking whether the two samples are similar or not. So that is the whole idea of Siamese network. So we will try to understand how what is its structure, what are the key features of a Siamese network, and eventually the loss functions being used, which makes the learning uh, very quick and requires less data, and hence implements one-shot learning. So let's understand the architecture of the Siamese network first. So it is a combination of two shallow, like very few hidden layers, identical CNNs. So we have two. Um, convolution neural networks that would be working together that are identical in nature also the uh, weights getting are getting shared between these two cnn so eventually uh, the two cnns that we would be taking have the same structure and the same parameters also being trained uh, the loss function being used are triplet loss function or construct uh, contrastive loss function that we will be discussing and the final output is a binary zero or one where one means uh, the images are similar and zero means the images are not similar so um, first of all let's understand uh, why parameter sharing is done why we are taking a shallow network etc so basic idea of one shot learning if you can go to my previous video you can figure out that uh, in one shot learning we wish to keep the number of parameters as minimum as possible and hence parameters are getting shared so that the number of parameters that we need to train should be very low second thing is uh, if we are using two different uh, cnns or uh, two identical cnns with same param uh, with same parameters we know that if we are inputting two different images, then they are, uh, then the final output generated would be different. While if we are inputting the similar type of images, they would get mapped in the latent space in the same uh, region. Hence, it's become easy to figure out whether the images are similar or not. So let's jump onto the loss functions that we have. One is a contrastive loss function. So contrastive loss function, here you can see the formula. It looks more of like the log loss function that we have, but a slight changes. That means that is y here is the predicted label by the model whether the uh, the samples are similar or not x square is the euclidean distance between the two images uh, output by the siamese network so i will tell you what they are doing eventually so first of all uh, once when we are uh, training as a cnn what we are outputting is an embedding for the image and not uh, any final output and then these fine then these uh, then the distance between these two images is taken as a final loss uh, so eventually what we are doing is that uh, x square is a Euclidean distance between the output of the two Siamese network where, where we are inputting first uh, first image and then uh, in the second we are inputting a second image we are getting an embedding for the two images and eventually we are trying to calculate the Euclidean distance between the two images this is x now uh, in this formula m is the margin so m uh, would be some constant value that we would be using it can be 1, 2, 3 etc uh, this is used because so that the weight doesn't go 0 at times uh, it might be the case that our weight goes 0 and hence there is no training going going on uh, moving on to uh, triplet loss uh, triplet loss is a bit complex as compared to contrastive loss and performs and it has been seen that it performs better as compared to contrastive loss as well because uh, we will see why it happens so the formula is maximum 0 comma distance between ap plus distance between ab plus alpha so alpha is a constant what is dd is a distance function so we are again calculating the distance between ap and ab now what is AP and what is AB? So A is our actual image. P is a sample similar to A. So if we are trying to um, make a Siamese network train on car images, so P would be something. So A is a car image. P is also something similar to a car image only. And B is something uh, is a sample that is very different from uh, sample A. Now uh, it is based on the idea that uh, the distance between AP would be very very less as compared to the distance between AB. Uh, why triplet loss uh, works better as compared to contrastive loss so uh, if you notice in the two formulas uh, in case of contrastive loss we are inputting two images together x1 and x2 uh, while in case of uh, triplet loss we are inputting three images together one is a similar and other is a different image so in case of contrastive loss how we are uh, training how we are preparing a training data set what we are doing is we are uh, Taking, uh, we are creating two types of samples, one, uh, two types of pairs of samples. So in one pair, we put in images uh, with same domain 
uh, in the same pair, hence the output becomes one. So if we are training images on cars, so what we would be doing is that the other image would also be around cars only. Hence the output becomes similar. While in case of uh, while in other uh, other pairs, we would be pairing up some random image with the actual data set. So whatever we are doing in triplet loss in just one iteration that we are taking three images together in which one is similar and other is different. In case of contrastive loss, what we're doing is that we're doing the same thing, but in parts. So some samples uh, will be similar. Some samples will be different. And hence the training for both the things like uh, won't happen together. In case of triplet loss, what would be happening is uh, in the same sample training, we would be the model would uh, try to understand how to differentiate from uh, you, uh, random samples from the similar samples. So we have P and, a, uh, P and B coming together. But in case of contrastive loss, uh, this ideology has been split into multiple pairs. So one sample will have similar pairs, other sample will have different pairs. Hence, training is uh, comparatively less efficient as compared to triplet loss.